What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1501 countries you can safely invest in. This one's marked as medium and I actually have the top rated solution for this one in the discuss tab on the problem on lead code. It's called sexy AF MySQL solution. We're going to take a look at why it's so beautiful. Let's get into it. I mean look at these comments. It makes me feel very validated. Anyway, so we have a table called person, country and calls. Person contains an ID for that person, their name and a phone number while country contains the name of the country and the country code corresponding to certain phone numbers. We also have a table called calls which contains a caller ID, callee ID and the duration of the call. So we know which person called which other person and how long that call lasted. The task description is a telecommunications company wants to invest in new countries. The company intends to invest in the countries where the average call duration of the calls in this country is strictly greater than the global average call duration. Our task is to write an SQL query to find the countries where this company can invest. Return the result table in any order. The query result format is in the following example. In this case, it's just Peru, apparently. To sum it up, we have call information from around the world and our task is to find countries that have an average call duration that is higher than the worldwide average. So we want to find countries where people are on the phone for a long time so the company knows to invest in this country and probably build a better phone connection network. Let's get into coding that up. So let's take a look at calls first. We have caller ID, callee ID and duration here. Caller ID and callee ID are ID in person. So we don't know their phone number yet since we only have a number here or an ID here which isn't an actual phone number. And we're going to need the actual phone number to be able to get the country code from that and know which country that phone call took place in. So we're going to start off by making that connection and just select start from now for now to get a sense of how to use these tables. So let's select start from person joining calls. And we have caller ID and callee ID. Caller ID is the one person initiating the call and callee ID is the person that is being called and that yeah, takes the phone call. Uh, yeah, their phone is ringing. Caller ID is the one picking up the phone and actually dialing a number. So we want to get that information of a person's name and phone number. We don't need to know name here actually, but we want to get that regardless of whether they are the person calling or being called. So our journey is going to reflect that. So we're going to select start from person joining calls on person.id being either the caller ID or the callee ID. the ID. Okay, so since we're using OR in here, we're joining the information in person, which gives us a phone number for the person calling or the person being called in the calls table. So if we, so if we run that code, it's going to give us an example of that. Namely, we get ID, name, phone number, which is in person, and then caller ID, callee ID, and duration. So for the first call, one calling nine for 33 minutes. We have a match for Rachel being person with ID nine and then also for Monsef being person one. So we have their phone number, both their phone numbers from that which is perfect. So now that since we have that we want to get back to our original task of getting the average call duration and in, ever, in order to get that per country we need to join country of course and now we have their phone number and can join country so let's get into doing that. So we're going to join country by using the country code and phone number because if we take a look at these examples first three digits of phone number are always the country code. We have that dash in here to symbolize that this is a new section of the phone number and first three digits are always the country code in here. So in order to join on that, 
we're going to use a function called left that just gives us the left hand part of a string and we can define how many characters we want to take as the left hand part. So we're going to join country on person dot phone number. We're going to take the left part of that, the first three characters. So we're going to use the function left, put our string in there, and then say how many characters we want, three characters. And that should be the country code from country. OK, let's see if that works if we run that. It seems to work. We have country code and name in here now for their country. So we still have Rachel and Monsef in here and we see that Rachel is from Israel with a country code of 972 and Monsef is from Morocco with a country code of 212. So that seems to work. Now let's get the average duration of calls in each country. So we're gonna use average duration here. Makes it really easy. Also use the country name and group by that. So yeah, what we're doing right here, we're calculating the average for the phone call duration based on each country, grouping by country. And what's cool about this join of using or in that first join here is that you can either make a call or receive a call from your country and it still counts towards that average of your country. Because if you're having a 30 minutes phone call on your phone, it doesn't really matter if you made that call or if you pick up the phone and receive that call because you're still using the resources of the phone network in your country. And this way, since we're using OR in that join condition, we get that row for the person making the call and receiving the call and are able to put that into both averages of the respective country. Now, if you get a phone call in England from a person that's also in England, it's gonna show up twice because, yeah, we have two people on the phone in England, if that makes sense. So let's just run that and see what it gives us. We should get two columns, country name and average duration. So we have Israel, Morocco and Peru in here. Israel having an average duration of 9.375, Morocco with 27.5 and Peru with a high average of more than 145. So Peru is looking like the one we want, which is also in the example output. So let's just see what we still need to do. What we still need to do is compare that average to the overall average across the entire world, worldwide. And if you think about it worldwide, it's just that we don't filter on anything. It could just be any country. So what we can do here is calculate the worldwide average of calls by just using duration in calls. Because we don't have to look up anything. We don't have to look up caller ID or callee ID because it doesn't even matter which phone number they have and which country code their phone number has because we're looking at it worldwide anyways. So we could just do something like select average duration from calls. And this is going to give us the value which we judge upon now. That is going to be 55.7, which is lower than the average of Peru, which was more than 145. So now we just need to integrate that value and use it as a filter here for our existing query. And in order to do that, since we're trying to filter on an aggregate function, which is what I always say when we're using having keyword, we'll have to use the having keyword. So if we put having after group by here, it basically functions in a similar way as a where filter would, but it allows you to filter the average value here, an aggregate function. And we're gonna say that this average duration should be higher than the calculation we just did, the worldwide average. And now we just need to bring that in here as a subquery. So we're going to select, I'm going to write out the same exact query again, we're going to select average duration from calls. 
and this is going to give us that 55.7 and this line 4 is just going to check whether our average duration is higher than that 55.7 we just calculated. So if we run that, that hopefully works, we should get two columns again, name and average duration and we just get Peru this time with, which is the expected output. Now we just need to rename that field country.name as country and then also remove the average duration because we don't need to output that we're still able to use it in having as a condition for that average being higher than the worldwide average. Yeah. Let's call that worldwide average maybe. Okay, and if we run that code, we should only get one column Peru now. And if we submit that, it should be an accepted output. Perfect. So that is my solution for this problem. I think I spent a lot of time on that and optimizing it a bit and I really had fun working with it because you were able to make some cool optimizations of using that or join using that left on the phone number and using having in a very cool way and to be able to compare the average of a country to the worldwide average very easily in one line by using having. So if we check my solution here it's exactly what I wrote out here um, apart from naming that world wide average. I can probably remove that again and that's it for that problem. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun working on that. If you're applying for jobs at AT&T or O2 or something like that, you might stumble upon a problem like that. And if you want to stumble upon more problems like these, just check out my Medium Lead Code Database Problems playlist here on YouTube where I go through all Medium problems. I also have one for easy and hard and if you want to stick around in general make sure to subscribe to also get a reminder to study in your subfeed on YouTube which is always a good thing. Apart from that I'll see you all in the next video hopefully. Until then, bye.